Okay, welcome to chess lecture number three. We're going to discuss common chess tactics. But first, I want to just define what what is chess tactics, and with that, I need to discuss strategy. So, let's define what uh, first what chess strategy is. Well, chess strategy is just your long-term plan. I mean, you can say ultimately the long-term plan is a checkmate the enemy king, but um, you you have to have more of a maybe a detailed plan than that. So, uh, sort of like a, you know, chess is a war game. You could say, well, we're going to march to Berlin and uh, win the war, or maybe the ultimate strategy is to win the war. But you got to say, well, we got to conquer this town and that town. So that's sort of what your strategy is. It's just sort of a sort of your uh, long-term plan. And um, I do want to say that um, on the first note, a bad plan is better than no plan at all. This is true. Playing without a plan is not a good idea in chess. Uh, next, your plan should be flexible. Okay, so um, you want to come up with the most flexible plan you can. That way it can, it can change. So if, you're, uh, if your opponent makes a move you're not expecting, hopefully you can incorporate it into your plan. The next thing is you want to reevaluate re your plan as needed. So don't wait 20 moves to come to you know redo your plan. You sort of want to check your plan as you're playing through the game to make sure it's, it doesn't need to be modified. Okay, so now chess tactics is short-term play. So effectively, what happens is uh, just sort of like in warfare. I keep going back to warfare uh, type uh, examples, but you know, to say, well, we're going to march to Berlin, and you know, to conquer the war, we got to win Berlin. Well, you think about, it, well, I got to move my tanks, my artillery over here and there, and take out this and that, and that's what tactics are. They're the they're the uh, short-term play of chess, and maybe some people may define it as the uh, have this written down the short sequence of threats, which are just moves, where the opponent's options or moves are limited. Okay, so basically you're making the uh, tactics are usually short sequences of moves uh, where you're threatening something and your opponent has to respond. And then, and his responses, his moves are limited, and these uh, tactics usually one, win material, or two, checkmate the enemy king. So when you you see a lot of or a lot of books in the bookstores on chess tactics, and they usually concentrate on these first two, winning material and checkmating the king. But uh, the third is also possible. Tactics may be as simple as uh, it accomplishes part of the player's strategy. Your strategy could say, I need to get rid of my opponent's white bishop or exchange it off. And that is part of your long-term plan, and therefore you come up with a plan you know, sequence of moves where you get rid of his white bishop. You haven't really won material or checked me the king, but you have accomplished your strategy. Okay, so let's uh, move on. Now that we understand strategy is the plan, the tactics are the short-term play, which usually win material, material checkmate the enemy king. So how do we improve our tactics? Well, we, we improve our tactics by um, solving many, many, many chess puzzles. That's why I wrote down puzzles, puzzles, and more puzzles. And uh, I recommend three books. Uh, the first one is uh, 333 Tricky Tess Chess Tactics by Wilson and Albertson. Um, and then the next one is Chess by Polgar. Uh, that's about, it's a thick book of over 5,000 chess puzzles. Uh, most of them are mating attacks, uh, where the tricky uh, chess tactics includes various themes, which I'll be covering. And then uh, my, I recommend this third one, which is actually my first chess puzzle book I ever bought, 1001 Winning Chess Sacrifices and Combinations. And these uh, are chess tactics grouped by theme. So. So now that, whoops, now that we know strategy is the plan and tactics is the way that we sort of implement the plan, but its goal is usually to win pieces or checkmate, and we, we improve it by uh, puzzles. What are the most common chess tactics that I'm going to cover? Well, lesson three, 
or lecture three, I'm going to cover four. I'm going to cover the most common chess tactics. And I can spend a lecture on each just because of the most common ones, trying to show you various examples. Uh, the most common chess tactics are superior force, and I'll cover all these in more detail later. The pen, double attack, and the fourth is the knight fork. And then in the lesson or lecture four, I'm going to cover a lot of other common chess tactics. Um, and they are discovered attack, the skewer, overworked defender, removing the guard, and deflection. Okay. Now for the rest of this lecture, I just want to cover a game, a blitz game that I played against uh, one of my fellow co-workers. And just to show you the difference between strategy and tactics. So um, if you don't know, my opponent uh, did uh, in the beginning never like the castle, and I knew this. So the strategy became very easy. Now remember, I always talk about having a pawn shield, and I was playing white, and here's my pawn shield, meaning these pawns are protecting the king very nicely. Now I knew that his king was going to sit in the center, and I know one of the best ways to checkmate him was to get rid of his pawn shield and effectively there's some pawns already in the middle that I need to get rid of mainly maybe these pawns here uh, if I get rid of that his king would have no protection in front of him and then if I move my pieces you know attacking him pointing towards him like my bishop here and then if I move my knight closer and if I move these rooks up or if I just have my rooks pointing down you know, maybe moving this rook over like this, where it would point down, and then moving my queen. My queen could stay here, or it could even go to any one of these lines. Uh, so you can tell I'd get rid of the king's defenses and have all my pieces near the king, and checkmate is probably soon to follow. So that was my goal. I know sometimes I call this blowing up the center, meaning getting rid of the pawns and flooding in with pieces. That's my that was my strategy. So how did I implement this? Well, I'm not going to discuss all the moves, but I started, uh, and this is the best reconstruction I can do of this game. So hopefully it was the right sequence of moves. And we're not international masters, so please don't comment. You know, this was a blitz game going very quickly, so there's definitely always mistakes going on. But I think the sequence of moves was this. I think I moved my pawn up, uh, sacrificing it actually, and he took it. And then I move my knight up. Remember, I said I want to get my knight in closer to the action. He decides to to protect. Whoops. To protect his pawn by playing c5. I play a4, and the reason I did this is I I actually saw that he could possibly move this pawn up and then move this pawn up, and my bishop would probably have to go back, which is not the well, I have to go back or maybe down to here and around. That's not where I exactly wanted my bishop, because my bishop, I wanted it up pointing this way. So I did this move by to stop a4, to stop this pawn push of, of b5. He gets his knight out. I move my queen up in line with the king. You know, now, my, now it's pointing down this way, part of my strategy, and I plan to move my rook over to here, or possibly even over to here. Okay. Now he moves this. Now I knew what he was planning on doing was moving this pawn up. And probably moving this pawn up too. And then I figured he was probably planning on playing his bishop here, which could eye over here. And then he probably was planning on playing his queen out to uh, any one of these squares over here. Okay, this was probably his plan and attack over here. So I continued. Actually this sort of helps stop getting his pawns rolling and potentially his bishop coming to here. He keeps moving his pawn down. I move my pawn up. We're just rolling our we're just moving our pawns down. He moves down. Now I really don't want to take this pawn because it's just going to weaken my stuff around the king. Actually he allows me to move it up, which is probably a mistake in his attack. Moves his, bish his rook over. I think he was planning on moving this pawn, but uh, now he can't. I've uh, firmly stopped that. So I move my rook over. 
now look at all the pieces just pointing down this way bearing down on the king like I said I can't move, uh, cover all these moves but he moves his queen and I just roll these pawns down he tries to get his bishop out of the way I just roll the pawns down and notice how I notice how his pawn shield is now gone it's all gone and now he says starts I check him now here's a chess tactic see actually here I'm forking his rook and his pawn does actually call the fork he takes the knight but I actually have another chess tactic where I attack his king and this bishop is called a double attack get that he moves over here then he makes a mistake and I end up checkmating him